Hi everyone, it's Schematic Matt and today we are going to talk about visceral or posterior surface of the liver schematically. The liver possesses three surfaces, superior, inferior and posterior. The inferior and posterior surfaces are divided into four lobes, which are arranged in the form of the letter H. The left limb of the H marks on the division of the liver into right and left lobes. It is known as the left sagittal fossa and consists of two parts, the fossa for the umbilical vein in front and the fossa for the ductus venosus behind, which is continuation of the round ligament of liver, ligamentum teres, a thin fibrous cord of the obliterated umbilical vein which functioned in the embryonal period. The right limb of the edge is formed in front by the fossa for the gall bladder and behind by the fossa for the inferior vena cava. These two are separated from one another by a relatively narrow isthmus of hepatic tissue called the caudate process, processus caudatus. A deep transverse groove connecting the posterior ends of the fossa for the umbilical vein and fossa for the gall bladder is called the porta hepatis. In front of the porta hepatis is the quadrate lobe, behind it the caudate lobe. Caudate lobe lies between the fossa for the inferior vena cava and the fossa for the ductus venosus. On the right, it is connected with the undersurface of the right lobe of the liver by the caudate process. The quadrate lobe, lobus quadratus, is situated on the undersurface of the right lobe, bounded in front by the anterior margin of the liver, behind by the porta hepatis, on the right by the fossa for the gallbladder, and on the left by the fossa for the umbilical vein.